accidentally hit the end button there on that last video. <laughs> Hard to video and sloth at the same time, but I'll get the hang over here eventually. <laughs> Hoping to get a few more shots of the Massey right beside me while I was slothing here for you guys, but maybe I'll just let the video run and you can watch a little bit of slothing here and then when he gets back I'll get a couple good shots of him combining for you maybe. I'll talk to you again in a few minutes. on his way back here now but I don't want to get too far ahead of him with the swathing here so I'll probably shut her down at the end of this pass again just I don't want to have a 30 foot swath of winter wheat and get 15 millimeters of rain on it wouldn't be good for anyone in the situation I don't think <laughs> Should be able to get some good shots of the big smoky Perkins for you anyway. It's gonna start getting tough pretty soon here. It's eight o'clock and there isn't a breeze and all the rain clouds they've been forecasting are starting to show up. It's kinda hard to see in the camera, but they're coming anyway. He's trying to get his lights turned on. There he goes. <laughs> combine that I bought there, that one. It's a 1983 as I had said before with the 540 V8 Perkins in it which isn't the best of the motors but with the hydrostatic. I've heard horror stories about them but I think it just goes along like any piece of machinery. If you treat it good they'll treat you good but I paid uh, seven thousand dollars for it from a neighbor had brand new uh, rice tires on the front of it and uh, new rub bars new drive belt on the cylinder and the chopper and all new chains that drove drive the uh, paddles in the feeder housing as a Massey doesn't run a feeder chain 
They have uh, paddles in them, like pieces of steel with uh, rubber flops. And uh, only has uh, 3,000 hours on it. So it's a brand new machine almost. <laughs> Always been in a shed there too, so the paint on it is just immaculate. But my camera is about to die, so before I lose the video, I guess we'll cut it off here. And I might cut some canola tomorrow, so if I am, I'll get a video for the two swathers going for you. And if it rains too much, then I guess we'll talk to you in a couple days. So have a good one.